uh, to LaDonna Harvey because we're going to talk about Harry and Meghan. They're back, that's right, just when you thought it was safe to go back on the TV. Um, they've given another interview, we talked about it a little bit last week, uh, to CBS. This time, though, they're talking about, just for a change, mental health. When you've been through any level of pain or trauma, I believe part of our healing journey, certainly part of mine, is being able to be really open about it. And I you know, haven't really scraped the surface on my experience, but I do think that I would never want someone else to feel that way. Oh it's just a big sigh, really, isn't it? Fine. LaDonna, a very good morning to you. And a very good morning to you. How are you? I'm all right. I mean, considering we're in the land of the uh, the rioting um, season and, uh, you know, things right. are looking pretty hairy at certain ports, part, parts of the, of the country, it's always good that we can be diverted, though, to talk about the lovely Harry and Meghan and how tough their lives have been. Well, you know, it's... it's um... It's one of those things where you know that that I've worked in the mental health sphere uh, quite a bit. Mm. I was on the board of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, uh, San Diego chapter. Um, I lost my stepmother to suicide. And the thing about suicide and suicidal ideation is that, number one, it's contagious. And number two, it doesn't really know any boundaries. So yeah. everyone from Meghan and Harry can feel these things to Rishi Sunak to the guy who's fixing your road down the street. And so, you know, I don't, it just because I don't necessarily like them as people, it doesn't mean that I can say, I don't think that they've felt these things or I don't think that they can feel this pain because I think you absolutely can. Um, you know, you can you can speculate for yourself as to, as to why you think that might be. But in a lot of cases, it is desperately serious and I agree with one thing that they're doing and that's going after social media and saying that it needs to be more responsible, especially when it comes to kids. Kids are under an enormous amount of pressure today, both mentally, physically, and with all of the criticism that comes at them online, things that you and I did not experience, we were so fortunate um, that we didn't. Uh, it, I really do agree with what they're doing and so I can't, I can't bash them as much as I don't like them. Well, I can. I um, and the reason I can, I'll tell you, <laughs> is not because of what the message is, but it's all about them. It's not, you know, the problem for me is it's, you know, it's all very well raising awareness and all that kind right. of thing. But the problem is it all seems to be always about them. And I'd rather see them actually doing something with whatever it is that they think right. they can help with rather than just going on TV shows and talking about how terrible it's been for them which is what it kind of comes right. across as. That's my objection to it. Of course, all the things you say yeah. are perfectly valid. And yes, people can suffer from it. And yes, you know, it, raising awareness of it is fine. But they can do so much more than that. I, you know, I would agree. I mean, they've got a heck of a platform. Um, but every time we do see them on TV, you know, we, we hear quite a bit of whinging and then we hear just a little bit of substance. And mm. I appreciate the substance. While I still just, you know, am not terribly fond of them as people, I can just appreciate the substance. And I wish that they did make it more about other people, which they seem to be doing a little bit in branching out with kids. Yeah. And again, you know, I can I can appreciate that. Um, the, the thing about mental health is it does seem to be affecting more and more and more of us. And we don't seem to be seeing a lot of advancements in that world. And that's, that's what I would like to see. You have a, a boatload of money why don't we get some money into research? Mm. Why don't we find out how these things are really affecting kids? Why don't we right. really make that push? You know, you can do that in a very substantive way. And yeah. that's, that's something that I would love to see. And rather than just saying, you know, social media is toxic, which we all know it is, you know, use, okay, your, use your influence to go and have a, a conversation with Elon Musk or go and talk to, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and see what you can get them to agree to do. If possible, they have know? a whole lot more access than you or I. Well, exactly. <laughs> and I like to think we're both very powerful people, but we are just not that powerful, are we? <laughs> well, we just aren't in comparison, you know. But that is the trouble. But again, I just it, I, it, the thing that I think turns people off the two of them is that it's totally always about them. It's never really about it, anybody else. There is absolutely that factor, and I think that's the you know one of the reasons that. <sighs> 
that they're so hard to take is because they come from such a privileged background. They come from such a privileged life that they do have opportunities that other people just don't have to get help, to get um, to get assistance, and also right. to move forward in, in spheres like this. And that's always a good thing to, to use the power that you have for, for good right. and not just to air your dirty laundry and, and give a bit of a winch. Well, and that was one of the stories as well from when they were actually here in London. Um, and, you know, right. Harry and she were both claiming that, you know, they wanted help for her and it wasn't, it, it wasn't forthcoming. You know, nobody was able to help them, which is clearly not true because, you know, at the end of the day, nobody would have said no if she'd come to them and said, oh, I need some help with this. Nobody would have said no. It just doesn't work I, like that. You know, it would be so strange in this day and age for someone to say no to that. That's, you know, well, that's well, what's so it, odd. It wouldn't happen. We can, yeah, well, we can talk about these things now. It used to be the thing that you didn't speak of. Right. Uh, you didn't speak if somebody took their own life. You did not speak of it if there was a mental health issue in your life or mm. somebody that you knew. Now we do. And to, to say that there's no help forthcoming, I think other people who are much poorer have a much harder time accessing that sort of care. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, and this interview they've done with CBS is kind of quite wide ranging, isn't it? Because we, we spoke about it last week uh, on the show and there was another clip at which they were talking about kids and talking about, you know, protecting them and, you know, having to be, right. every parent has to be a first responder and all this kind of thing. I'm still not really quite sure why they've done it. I mean, it's you know maybe it's something that they're that they're thinking it affected them personally, and they're worried about their kids. Which I think, if you have a kid today, you better be worried. Yeah. Be worried about what they're watching on YouTube. Be worried about what they're exposed to. They could be one room away from you, and there's a sex predator on their iPad with them. Yeah. So, a lot of really terrible things can happen, and and you know they're they're just they're not wrong about it. No. But the point is that they seem to start an awful lot of things and then not do very right. much about anything else. You know, like yeah. they've started all these projects that they're supposed to be involved in and now suddenly they're involved in another project but we haven't heard anything about the other projects. Well, let's hope that they do something about this one. It's, it's something that would, I think, gain them an awful lot of respect and that's something that they don't have a lot of from no, the public, unfortunately. They really don't. They're almost as unpopular as Keir Starmer. Uh, and that's saying something. Um, thank you. The Donna Harvey, as ever, and uh, interesting perspective on all of that as well. Uh